Hey, hey, everybody. Brittany from HeatSpring here. And today we are going to be talking about getting your BPI or Building Performance Institute Building Analyst Technician Certification, also known as the BAT. And this is a entry level credential that opens a lot of doors for folks who are working in building performance and energy efficiency. And it lays the foundation for continued professional advancement, especially with BPI. It is a prerequisite to get further certifications with the Building Performance Institute. So it's a really great early stage credential for you to work towards. And as a certified BAT, you'll be doing comprehensive home assessments and you'll be collecting data and doing diagnostic testing. And this certification really demonstrates that you have essential knowledge in things like building systems, advanced testing procedures and data analysis, as well as industry standards and best practices. So if this sounds like something that will be up your career alley, let's keep talking about getting your BAT. To get started, let's talk prerequisites. To be eligible to take the BAT field test, Candidates must have first gotten their Building Science Principles Certificate. And HeatSpring offers prep for that. You can find a lot of information on our website. And we've created a video on that as well. So just search it if you need more information there. Let's talk more about what's covered on this exam. So you can find a whole list of knowledge, skills, and abilities for the BAT within the job task analysis. Looking at a high level, here's the breakdown of what's going to be covered on the exam. There's about 10% building science, about 30% buildings and their systems, and then 60% testing and data collection. In addition to that job task analysis, you will not want to skip out on the BAT field guide. This is information that will most certainly be on the exam. In fact, it pretty much is the field that exam. So be sure to take a look at that and make sure you know that information backwards and forwards. Speaking of taking the exam, let's talk about preparation. There isn't any training required to sit for the BAT exam. HeatSpring does offer a BAT certification training course. And that's really great to give you all the information really comprehensively that you'll need to know to take that field exam. Many students opt to take HeatSpring's BPI Building Analyst Certification Package. And that course package includes preparation for the Building Science Principal Certificate, the BAT, as well as the BAP, which is the Building Analyst Professional, which is the next certification beyond the BAT. Let's move on to talking about the exam itself. So this exam is a field exam, and it includes a oral portion where 15 questions are asked on essential knowledge and skills. And some of those questions also include visual identification components. And then in addition to the oral portion, there's also a performance evaluation. And that's where specific tasks will be assessed, and that's based on a standardized criteria. So it'll also include some verbal discussion of key topics that are in the BAT field guide. The field exam uh, can take up to four hours. So while this is an open book exam where candidates can use reference materials, they can't use any form of outside assistance. So no help from anybody. You should note that there are five field exam line items that are considered gated. And what that means is that means you have to answer those correctly to pass the exam. And you can find those in the field test guide. And we've got them right here on the screen. So you'll want to make sure that you know those really, really well. A passing score of 70% or higher is required to consider passing the exam. So let's say you score that 70% or higher and you are now an official BAT. Congratulations. Now that you're certified, it's important to know that you'll need to recertify um, your BAT every three years. 
And there's two ways to be eligible to renew the certification. You can either A, um, retake the exam, or you can accumulate a thousand hours over the course of those three years um, of field experience. And that can also be field exam proctoring or conducting whole house field training. So as long as you do at least a thousand hours of field experience, you won't need to take the exam again to recertify. When you are ready to recertify, there are fees and they depend on how many certifications you're going to be renewing with BPI. They can range from three to five hundred dollars, depending on how many of those you're doing. When you are ready, you'll submit your application, your fees, and documentation directly to BPI. Well, that's all I got for you today about the Building Analyst Technician Certification. If you have any questions about this one or other BPI certifications, don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to answer those questions. You can find us at support at heatspring.com. Thanks so much for being here, folks, and we'll see you in class.